Pretty much rolled the dice and got a random airsoft item. That's any mystery box. I know. That's the definition of mystery but... box. Oh, hi there. On today's video, I went on Hop Up, the Airsoft Buy, Sell, and Trade app, and I found somebody selling a mystery box. I know that's not my usual thing. Usually, I have a company send me a mystery box so I'll get more value than the money I put into it. So when I'm buying off a random person, an Airsoft player, who knows what I could get? This could be a box of garbage, literal trash. It could be bricks or rocks. I don't know. But I do know I spent $100 on this box. So it better be something good. And I'm not talking about pancake pistols. I bought this box from a guy named Alfred. His YouTube is G-I-G-N Twi'lek Airsoft. Big shout out to him because I'm pretty sure this is not trash. I could be wrong, but let's get into it and find out. But first, I actually went on the Googles and I searched around and we found websites that sell mystery boxes that aren't Fox or Evike. I know, they exist. Weird, right? Now, most of them were overseas in like China and the shipping was worth more than the box. Can't do that right now. That wouldn't make any sense. Like most of the things I do. But I found one called Airsoft Tulsa and they sold a $25 mystery box. On the ad, it said, get something good in in this box. Exclamation point, exclamation point exclamation point. That's a lot of exclamation points, which leads me to believe that there is something good in this box. Hence the exclamation points. Now, as you can see, even though this was a $25 box, they still charged me $9.99 for shipping and I couldn't find any discount codes. And for some reason, I was also charged $2.13 in tax, even though I'm supposed to pay my state sales tax, which I'm not sure if you're aware, but Delaware sale tax, zero. Yeah, that's right. We don't pay sales tax here in the land of free shopping. I had to pay tax for this. So the grand total on this box was $37.11 for a $25 mystery box. It feels pretty light. I'm really hoping that for my first mystery box out of this new company, I'm hoping it's something good because I'd really love to use them again. I'd really love to buy something from them again and open it like the Fox boxes. I bought several and to open this box, I have this. What knife is it, you ask? Mm. This is the knife I ordered on Wish that took forever to get here. The rest of the items showed up, but this knife finally got here today. Look at that blade, isn't that cool? It's got like etching into it. Can you see it? Yeah, it's really shiny, I like the point. This knife that I ordered on Wish for $11 took months to get here, but it's here now and I did promise I would use it to open an unboxing. Here we go. I don't know it, mm. look at that, look at the size of the box. Doesn't it look like, looks like a, a shape of a state. It's weird. Somebody clearly made this box because uh, it's not a rectangle. It's more of a rhombus. So maybe they don't get a lot of orders for mystery boxes so they don't have boxes laying around. Or maybe whatever's in here is so cool they had to make a custom box. All right, already, I don't see paper, but I see multicam. Don't we all love multi-glam in the Milsim world? So, you guys get to see what it is. I saw multicam, that's it. Now I'm gonna reach in, pull it out. That's literally all that's in there. What is it? it looks like a gun bag, backpack. It is a tactical shoulder bag. Ripping it open, guys. That's a sharp knife. Here we go, tactical shoulder bag and multicam from Lancer Tactical. We have a tactical shoulder bag from Lancer Tactical. I think I've had one of these before. I think I got one in the $1,000 mystery box. It's pretty big on the inside. That's what she said. Let's look up the cost of this item. Now that we're back from checking the prices, I also checked something else out and I was right. We got one of these from Fox Airsoft in the $1,000 mystery unboxing. And when I looked it up then, it was $29.99 on their website for the OD Green. We found the multicam version on other websites for between $26 and $28. Now, I don't know if you guys are good at math. I paid $25 for the box. No paper. I got a $26 bag, but got charged 
tax and shipping. Not a big win. I like the bag, but the value wasn't there. If I'm buying a mystery box from a place, especially an in-stock mystery box, I want it to be like Fox, where you know you're getting at least 20, 30, 40 dollars more than you paid for a $25 mystery box, a $50 mystery box. Shoot, the $1,000 mystery box, it was worth like $1,600. This is a loss, so we won negative money. Negative. It's also worth pointing out that when I was checking out, I asked in the comments if they could include a picture of Nicolas Cage. There's no picture of Nicolas Cage. How can I really trust an Airsoft website that won't give me a picture Nicholas Cage. I checked all the pockets. No Nicholas Cage. Hello? Are you in there, Nicholas Cage? So that's something I'm gonna start doing from now on. Anytime I order from a website, I'm gonna leave in the comments. Give me a picture of Nicholas Cage with it. Let's see what happens. We're 0 for 1, guys. 0 for 1. Pretty much roll the dice and got a random airsoft item. That's any mystery. I know. That's the definition of mystery but box. Don't thing. defend them! Jeez, let me hate! Tulsa! You guys gotta get your stuff together. I'll love to buy again. You know what? I'm going to buy again because everyone gets a redemption. The zombie box? I'm gonna buy the zombie. They have a $50 zombie survival kit. I'm definitely gonna buy that next, guys. But this one, cool bag, the value just isn't there. For my mystery box, I need more. You guys know that. If anyone watching this video has shopped at Tulsa, like the actual store, or played at their field, let me know your experience because I'm curious. They look really cool on their website. Moving on. Let's cut open the hop-up box. A random stranger sent me $100 worth of stuff. So let's open this box from Alfred. Now this is gonna be a little different because I won't be able to just go to a website and look up the price of all these items because it might not be that kind of stuff. I'm sure there's gonna be stuff in there that I can look up, but it's all gonna be used, I assume. So here we go. Ah, he went with plastic instead of paper. Should I go for the first thing? All right, we've got a Shemag. Still in the package, not used. A black and white Shemag. These are usually like $10. So we got a Shemag. That's the first item. Ooh, okay. This is a holster in multicam. I don't know exactly what cam that is, but it's close to multicam. That's a holster that you would put on a cross straw. This is Molly. You can put it on your belt. So this is a multi-use holster. This is a really nice holster too. It's pretty pretty clean. So I'd say that's like a good 10 to $15 holster. I'd say 10. Let's, let's say 10. $10 holster. Another thing. <laughs> it is a Battlefield beanie. A beanie with a bunch of little Battlefield logos all over it. I'm more of a Call of Duty guy. I don't know the price on a Battlefield beanie, so let's call it $5. A G&G &G clear speed loader in great working condition. Give that another $5. Okay, that's a patch. This is a face mask. Everyone needs face masks, so that's like another five. Here's a patch, AT Airsoft. I don't really know what that is. That's a nice patch though. Some lenses. Ooh. This is a big high cap. G and G high cap. It's a large one. Full metal. Air gun paper targets by Monarch. I don't have the, the thing it goes in, but targets are always good to shoot. Here's a part to the speed loader. It's the adapter. And here's the little keychain. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. But it's a keychain. What if I was like, and that's the end of the box? No, I'm just kidding. There's so much more in this box right now. It's insane. It's like loaded. Velcro dots. Some kind of battlefield emblem. I'm really just dredging the bottom because there's a lot of stuff in the middle and I'm going around the outside. This is a patch of a dude riding a horse, pointing. He's like, look over there. Now the rest of the stuff is in a bag of which I think I'll just pull the whole bag out. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, we've got a PTS Magpul M4 stock. These are awesome. I love putting these on my M4s. It gives it that look. Here is a metal rail 
for what I do not know. It is M-Lock though. So this is a, a small CQB version M-Lock rail. It is a five inch. Some button cell batteries in the 1632 variety. Here's a drop-in gearbox. Gearbox. Some sort of sling. APS full metal buffer tube. Another sling. A regular M4 collapsible stock. We're running out of room here. This is a pistol grip to something. Looks like maybe an aftermarket for an M4. There's a lot of M4 parts here. An Elite Force charger. Here is some stock batteries to guns. I won't use these, so this one's broken. Number three right there. This is a stock wall charger that comes with a gun. I always tell people the best place to keep these the trash. They're not good. They're dangerous. They'll overcharge your battery. There's no cutoff. The rest is looks like parts. There's another battery. This is an 8-4-1100. It says battery adapter, but it's actually a tappet plate. Flip up plastic sight. Two motors. One is Echo 1. The teeth are good. Yes, so this is all miscellaneous Parts. These are really cool. Small to large Tamiya adapter. I can't get enough of these. Whenever you have a battery, you're on the field, your battery dies. And then your buddy says, oh yeah, here. And gives you a small, but you only have a large type connector on your gun. Boom. And this has a $9.99 price tag on it. I think that's a little steep. Uh, I'd say five bucks. I bought these for five dollars. But this one is a Dean's to Tamiya adapter. You're on the field and you're like, I need a new battery. But all your friends are noobs that only have Tamiya. But that's what that's for. And I'd say that's another good $5 right there. You can make these all day, but I'm lazy. There's a, little, a bunch of little gear parts. This is a trigger assembly, it looks like. All right, in all, I think this was a good purchase. I really like this Magpul PTS stock. Pistol holster, that's really nice. In total, I believe this is about 140 to 150 value in used items. Some of them are new. The stuff over here, I probably won't use. The stock batteries are usually no good. And the promotional items, can't really put a price on because they're usually free items. This was definitely a great haul for someone that wants used but not too expensive parts. This is going on a gun like right after the video. Make sure you go check out his channel. It's G-I-G-N Twi'lek Airsoft. If you guys have any recommendations of what you want to see me unbox, let me know. I'm always checking for new and different mystery boxes. That's it for me today. If you guys have any questions, ask them below and I'll try to answer them. Find me on Instagram, C7Viper underscore Airsoft. I think I can put that right there. Yeah. If I made you laugh, hit that like button because I'll do it again. And don't forget to subscribe. Everyone counts. I consider all of you teammates. So if I see you on the airsoft field, say what's up. So until next time, have a shamog. Nailed it. It's a nice patch though.